it is now possible to genetically change bacteriums and virus, genetically change them. What has been developed now <clears throat> is if bacterium, they can lay, and, and yeasts, they can lay in the soil for hundreds of years in a dormant stage. Um, and it's known by grave diggers or people who dig up old graves that it's possible when light comes on the bacterium to regenerate the bubonic plague that's been laying in the ground for several hundred years. It only wants that particular frequency and bang, it, it, it's active again. <clears throat> you don't need more than two brain cells to work out where you go from here. Virus are neither dead nor alive. They in, inhabit hosts. If I put a virus inside a dormant bacteria that I know I can spring to life, I go to Norway on a holiday, or Denmark, or Sweden, I just spread the virus around the forests with the dormant bacteria and I come back and I can wait if I like a hundred years, two hundred years or two hours makes no difference to me and then all I have to do with harp or a similar device is put the frequency the microwave frequency off the ionosphere down onto Norway whenever I feel like it the virus will spring to life because their host has sprung to life. This is where we are. So countries can now, just by introducing bacteriums and viruses and whatever, they can totally devastate uh, the economic possibilities of another country.